Hello YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans, today we'll be taking a look at the Wave 2 Basic Sonic Screwdriver releases. The packaging is just the same as the Wave 1 toys with the classic logo on the top, a big viewing window which gives you a good look at the toy when it's in its packaging, and for the most part they do look good, except for Eleven's which just looks as though it's been crammed in there. At the bottom we get a little image of each screwdriver's corresponding owner, alongside the time period that they played the Doctor for, while below we're reassured that the screwdrivers are electronic and feature sounds and or light effects. There's also a little yellow triangle with Wave 2 printed on the inside of the box just so you don't get confused and end up buying a screwdriver you already own. The back just features an image of the four screwdrivers available in the Wave along with a ton of legal garb and yada 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 let's move on and take a look at these screwdrivers themselves. Okay, so let's start off with the 5th Doctor Sonic screwdriver. And just like the War Doctor Sonic, I'm experiencing a lot of deja vu here as this is essentially the 4th Doctor Sonic which I've already reviewed, but it does have a few subtle tweaks, so let's take a look at what's different. The emitter head still features that elongated magnet section on the back, but this time it's just red instead of black, while on the collar some paint apps have been added to make this section white. And that's it really, so superficially it's really nothing new. The sound chip comes from the initial 11th Dr. Sonic screwdriver release, so features two lower and higher pitched noises which it cycles through with each pull of the collar. Then just like Eleven's, it features two hidden noises. The first can be accessed by pulling the collar down three times, while the fourth is activated by pulling the collar down four times. Moving on, here we have the 8th Doctor Sonic, a screwdriver which I've been waiting on a release of for a very long time. Initially it just looks the same as the other classic screwdrivers, but it does feature some new components. At the top the ring around the emitter head is now silver, while the bullet shaped section has been elongated, but is made from this cheap looking red plastic. The collar still looks the same, but the handle is a brand new mould, which is perfectly cylindrical, so it doesn't feature the rounded end or black groove usually seen on these classic Sonics, and the flat base also means it can be displayed, while standing up. Activating the sound effects has also changed as the collar that is usually pulled down is permanently fixed in place. Instead a little rectangular button has been installed on the side, and this screwdriver, just like Fives, also includes the 11th Doctor's sound chip. Oh jeez, how many times have I reviewed one of these over the years? Yes, here we have yet another version of the 10th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. Superficially, it just looks the same as ever and includes the extending emitter action. The end section is still removable, just like in previous releases, but the black end cap itself has now been permanently glued in place. Turning to its features, it can still only be activated by these two buttons. The bottom only works when it's fully closed, while the top can only be used when it's fully extended. But finally, we get a reissue of this screwdriver which actually includes a blue LED and is therefore much more accurate than the purple black light effect LED which was previously used for revealing hidden messages written in UV ink. However, the sound chip used in this Sonic is the same one used in the War Doctor screwdriver, so the first two regular sound effects are from the 11th Sonic. While the other two are from the classic series. Oh boy, here we go. The final screwdriver in this wave is a re-release of the 11th Doctor Sonic, which sadly has been majorly botched. I don't even know where to start with this one. It feels so hollow and lightweight in comparison to earlier releases. It looks cheaper and much more plasticky. But the biggest disappointment of all is that it features no extending action. That's right, this screwdriver doesn't extend. One of its most distinguishable features and it hasn't been included. The whole thing just reeks of laziness. Oh. Our original release had major issues with the emitter staying shut because the spring was too powerful. What should we do? Swap it out for a less powerful spring? Or just chuck it all in and re-release a non-extending version? It's a major display of cost cutting and it really suffers for it, even the exterior design. A key element of the original release's extending ability was the ease of access it granted to the battery compartment, meaning there were no obvious screws or panels visible on the exterior. But with this non-extending version, a massive battery compartment has been installed on the handle, which just looks downright ugly. And to make matters worse, it's covered in legal scram fludge. 
In all fairness, at least the button has been placed in the correct position on the screwdriver, as it's supposed to be in line with the copper sections instead of the silver ones, plus the lack of an end cap means a speaker grill has been added to the base of the Sonic, which makes it louder, yet strangely enough the sound feels almost hollow at the same time. But those small bonuses cannot redeem the sheer amount of issues that I have with this toy. Eleven Sonic, strangely enough, has been re-released with the same sound chip as its vastly superior predecessor, so the sound effects are the exact same as always, complete with hidden sounds. So, overall, what do I think of these screwdrivers? Well... eh... The 5th Dr. Sonic is just the same as the 4th Dr. Screwdriver previously released multiple times, but then again Peter Davidson's screen use prop was just the same thing, a slight update of the prop used by Tom Baker, so this one is more for the completest collectors out there despite its inaccurate sound effects. While it's great to finally get a release of 8 screwdriver, it looks and feels very toyetic. The chrome paint app should have been much darker, and that red elongated emitter should have been an orange translucent diamond instead of this very basic plastic red design. On top of that, I would have loved to have seen it include a telescopic collar, as was seen in the television movie, as the activation button is really basic on its own. On the plus side, I really like 10 Sonic re-release. It finally includes a blue LED, and does away with that UV ink nib gimmick under the end cap. Having said that, the sound effects are very inaccurate, and I would have much preferred those two classic Sonic sound effects to have been hidden and accessed by pushing the activation button numerous times first. But the most disappointing screwdriver in this wave is easily Eleven's. Its lack of an extending feature and serious backstep in its overall design and appearance makes it look less like a toy bought from a shop and more like a toy a child would get free with an issue of the Doctor Who Adventures magazine. It just looks horrible, and I'm sorry to say is yet another backstep from character during a time when they really need to start upping their game as far as Doctor Who toys and collectibles are concerned. And as a result, there's only one place this monstrosity belongs. And so that does it for this review. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to stay subscribed for more videos and keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter. Thanks again for watching and remember to keep following the nerd. Goodbye.